Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel, Deb Chanel's 48's World. And we're going to be talking about an article today that Celebrity Insider put out. And the person that was a journalist or a correspondent for this particular article uh, was Ron Collins over there at Celebrity Insider, guys. Okay, the title of the particular article that was written um by ron it says can you more support cynthia bailey and some of her fans says or say she should not trust her okay I'm like cynthia can you gonna have you crying at the ease end of season 12 <laughs> is candy gonna have to mediate between you two or you all gonna fall flat on y'all faces with y'all friendship that i do feel is not credible Everybody's on this show seem to have individual individuals no individually an individual type of attitude. Uh, it seems like y'all all about yourselves. Don't really care, or respect one another on the show. It's just this is what season twelve seems to be giving me. And maybe it's totally all about securing the bag who can get the most ratings who can seem like they was the most viewed on a particular episode and whatnot and i'm like wow okay the perspective have definitely taken a turn for the worse because everybody seems like they want to be the it factor on the real housewives of atlanta okay let's go on and get into this story since it was trending on social media and it came across my media feed Ron goes on to write, Kenny Moore just showed Cynthia Bailey some love and support on her social media account, but some of her fans and followers seem to believe that it's not the best move for Kenya to trust Cynthia as a friend. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, who's zooming? Who am I? Uh, read the Franklin voice. Who's zooming? Who? Take a love look at me, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Who zooming? Who meaning who is getting the last laugh? Okay, who is controlling who in the situation? Some people say Kenya shouldn't trust nobody, and definitely not Cynthia. This is what they're saying in this article. Then you got some people saying Cynthia shouldn't trust Kenya because Kenya ain't nothing but a snake in the garden of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, among other snakes. All right, so I don't know. What do y'all think? Who is the best? Who is the worst? Should Cynthia trust Kenya? Should Kenya trust Cynthia? I'll tell you, I don't know, honey. But let's keep on reading the article that Ron put out on them both. Okay. My girl Cynthia will be at the Macy's in Lenox Square this Saturday, December 7th. That's coming up. Okay. What's she going to be doing? Uh, she's going to be hosting their holiday dress fashion show at 2 p.m. Stop by and check out all the twirly or the twirl worthy holiday dresses of the season. Kenya's captioned her post. She continues and wrote, be one of the first 150 to spend $100 or more in dresses to meet and take a photo with her after the show. Okay, so it seems like um, Cynthia is going to be out there modeling, twirling, uh, sashaying, or maybe she just might be emceeing. <laughs> To a fashion show that Leonard Square is putting on, okay? Well, that's the uh, particular mob if you ever want to know or you think you ever want to run into uh, celebrities. They do partake down there. I've seen quite a few myself, okay? But, yeah, that is a hot spot if you want to go, especially during the summertime. Uh, if you want to think you may have a run in with uh, a celebrity here or two locally or you know from california and other areas of the uh, different states uh go down there sometimes but that mall is addressed for the affluent or the rich and famous uh of atlanteans uh who's who and also like i said we have traveling celebrities that are in the area um they usually go and partake of that mall too uh but yeah Going back to the article, it says, Cynthia wrote, thanks for all the love and support, sis. I'm like, just because Kenya sit and use her media, her social media platform, 
You think she really did anything? Honey, she she should be down now at Leonard Square Mall, sitting in the little booth or a little cheers or whatnot, and cheering you on, girl. All right, that's what she need to be doing, cause. I'm sure Candy could do the same thing if she want to. I haven't seen it come across her um, one of her uh, social media platforms, but I don't really follow her like that unless something comes up as newsworthy for entertainment gossip that I might think, mm, should I talk about that? Mm, let me find a little bit more information. And I read on her um, Candy Online or Speak On It channel, which I think is the same channel, but she just um, talks about whatever subject she wants to talk about and give that name out. Okay, same umbrella, but different entities, I guess you should say. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, A worried follower told Kenya the following. Kenya, Cynthia is not a good friend to you. She laughs and co-signs all the nasty comments Eva has been making towards you. Please do not trust Cynthia. Her brain flip-flops. Now, I got to agree with the commentator or the, uh, the commenter about her um comments she made over in kenya moa's post on i guess it was on her twitter or instagram not really sure but uh yes uh cynthia does flip-flop a lot she should definitely wear flip-flops in the summertime or in the early um fall because yeah she does do a lot of hopping on whatever team seems to be jumping at the time but then you can say the same thing about kenya moa you know, she goes in and twirls and tears up situations and circumstances. And then she still wants to go back and be in the midst of them after she done got them together. Excuse me. Or uh, read them for Phil. Please excuse me. But my sinus is going on. I took some sleep aid. So this will more than likely be my last video for tonight. But that's okay. Because God willing, I'll be back tomorrow. And have y'all come over to the house and we sit down and we talk about it and it's yay friday tomorrow too <laughs> good well, i do got to take my mom to the doctor once i get off um for a follow-up appointment but there's nothing here nor there take me a nap i'll be ready i'll be straight for y'all be right there waiting on y'all to come over to the house and sit and give me 30 minutes to an hour of your time you're choosing how long you want to stay but just make sure you hit that like button prior to leaving or before coming in the door okay to sit down and partake with me and definitely share my videos and if you haven't subscribed go on and subscribe to my channel child what you waiting on what are you waiting on i'm gonna be here god willing making videos every day except for probably mondays because i take the two episodes of uh, real housewives of atlanta and merit of medicine kind of tires me out so i usually take mondays off so don't look for any videos unless it's a very very salacious story out there that i need to get out on my platform and i want y'all to chime in on it and tell me what y'all thought about it but okay my sidebar again let's get back to this article okay it says um a lot of followers agree but there were also some fans who believe that kenya is a true friend and that other ladies should learn from her loyalty now, if anybody can get down in them comments and tell me, because I'm kind of drawing a blank of when was Kenya a true friend. Because let me see, she had it out with Nene. Uh, she treated Cynthia like a lesser than a human being, uh, like gum on the bottom of her shoe this past episode in season 12. Uh, she can't stand Marlo, can't stand Eva. She was dogging Portia out at the uh, jitterbug class they took with the babies trying to exercise and, and bond with them as well. And uh, she pretty much, uh, yeah, told T Portia she should be twerking uh, up in the baby land. This ain't no thought type of situation. This is, you know, a baby situation. <laughs> I mean, I'm like... Kenya, 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 you know you don't go in no exercise room, especially holding your baby. And you trying to do the two-step, which, no, you shouldn't have been able to fall or even anticipate falling. But you, you in wedge heels. Excuse me. You're in wedge heels on the exercise floor. And even the instructor was like, do you want to take off those heels? Like she was basically telling you, stop being rude, stop being an ass. 
we have uh we don't want our um floor scuffed up or whatnot could you please take off your heels but you didn't read between the lines uh, can you or maybe you did and you just disregarded it just like you do pretty much everything else if it's not something you want to do you just discard it okay which is not a good thing because when you set your thing out and you want to have something done you expect certain things to happen and certain things not to happen and you want them to adhere but when it comes to uh, Cynthia or Cand or Nene or Eva or Portia, you know, you, you want to give them rules and regulations to follow. But when you try to go to their events or whatever, you don't want to act right. So ain't that the pot calling the kettle black. But anyway, um, this commenter has said that Cynthia knows nothing about true loyalty and that Kenya has all those wonderful attributes. She needs to just watch herself and surround herself with people of that caliber. But I'm like, whatever. But anyway, going back to the article, it said a follower, another follower said, Kenya, you are really a lawyer friend because I have been looking at Sea Hill differently <laughs> lately. I'm like, damn, Kenya is a mess in herself. Cynthia just tried to come out with a backbone but that's not working too well for her either because you see how kenya treated her and if this was a person that was trying to stand on their own try to come out voice their opinions not let people run uh run over them bulldoze them down at their leisure or whatnot um cynthia would have stood up for herself and i even gave her an idea of how she could have you know let the thing got set off or set up and and implemented but you know, of course, she didn't do what I did and, you know, probably never will. But anyway, it is, it is what it is, okay? Then another commenter said, someone else posted this at the Kenya Moore. You really know how to be a friend. I hope others learn from you. Gracious, beautiful lady. Okay, another commenter said, wow, I wish I was there to see Cynthia with her beautiful, beautiful smile, looking hotter than ever. And when... And one other person gushed over the lady's friendship. And they still want them to say, y'all aren't friends anymore. And I'm like, I don't know who this comment was or what she was looking like. But that was no friendship right there when she went over to Cynthia's barbecue and showed her ass. Trying to get on Eva, then trying to get on Marlo. And then trying to thirdly get, lastly, get on Cynthia Bailey. Okay, about don't be interrupting me when I'm talking. I wasn't finished yet. I'm like, well, damn, put your peers and your explanation points out there very clearly so I know when it's time for me to just get you up on out of here. See, that's what I would have said. But, you know, again, Cynthia, she's Cynthia, okay? But that was my sidebar bar. Uh, going back to the article, it said, in other news, Kenya went through a lot to have her miracle baby, Brooklyn Daly. She recently addressed infertility and all the hardships that she had to go through in order to have her baby girl. She wants to help other families who are experiencing similar issues, and she asked her fans and followers to do the same. Okay, so she's promoting herself as well as trying to show love to her supposedly friend, Cynthia Bailey. So... It's pretty much how y'all want to spin it, how y'all want to see it. Go on over to Celebrity Insiders. Read it for yourselves, and then you can pretty much ascertain, was she full of bullshit, or was she truthful in what she was saying, and her sincerity of her um, followers or viewers of her Instagram account or Twitter, whatever they were on at the time, when she was saying, go over there and support her uh, Sister Cynthia Bailey on her event that she's hosting over at Macy's at Lenox Square Mall on this coming Saturday. So anybody else can shout you out. You know what I'm saying? Hell, V103 and the rest of the uh, local radio stations, they could do the same if they if Cynthia would have went over there and said, hey, I'm doing this event. You know, if anybody want to come out, they can get like a meet and greet with me. Very short, sweet, to the point. Take a photo with them, whatnot. And, you know, just promote the event up because it's for a good cause. <laughs> Something to that event. And then people are like, okay, all the Cynthia fans or uh, viewers of her content, whether she's on Real Housewives of Atlanta performing or she's on her own platform or YouTube station. Because it seems like all of them trying to get one now. Dr. Helen got, got one. Candy, of course, got one. 
Mm, I don't know if Kenya dipped and dabbed one. Nene Leaks has one. So it's just like, I, I don't know. They're they just trying to get money in every avenue. But one thing I did say, and I was telling that, having this conversation with my daughter, I really felt that if we have celebrities, whether they're reality stars or whether they're true actors and actresses like Will Smith, Jada Pickett, or, you know, any other um artists out there that have a platform higher than a youtube standard why don't they have a platform where they have to reach a trillion uh or a billion uh watchers before they can get monetized or they can you know be having some of the perks that youtube content creators have once they get to a certain level but now nah, they just throw them out here with us every regular day people and eating up the revenue like it ain't nobody's business because it seems like they change the algorithm just at will you know all willy-nilly whenever they feel like they want to change it and it gets harder and harder for our, for the smaller youtubers or even the ones that are like fifty thousand. there's no way you can compete you know, with someone just trying to see an ordinary person out here, such as myself, just giving commentary and my opinion on a particular subject matter versus Will Smith is up against me. You know, y'all going to go to see Will Smith and y'all might, when y'all have time, come check me out. So I'm just thinking that, you know, that's kind of unfair uh, that celebrities get to come in and partake of a platform and their numbers be out the wazooka, but just in the same batch of people that everyday YouTubers try to reach. So I just thought I'd get my spin on that, my take on it. I don't know what you all feel about it. So you probably wouldn't care less, could care less <laughs> about the situation. But it was just me rambling on, trying to tell you uh, certain things that content creators go through, They what they have to uh, navigate through, and then try to compete with the uh, people that already have a, a large platform to engage with their uh, fans or viewers or followers of their content okay whether they're on the big screen or they have their own uh, sitcom shows or you know they are re um, what do you call it reality celebrity uh, little superstar running out there but that's all I have for this video guys uh, Kenya Moore supports Cynthia Bailey and some of her uh, fans says she should not trust her all right, so I'm like, mm, maybe they shouldn't trust each other. <laughs> you know how they say that crab mentality, that um, sealed lid or that sealed bucket where, you know, one person tries to get out, but the other one don't want that person out because they want them to stay down there with them and they just keep, you know, fighting amongst themselves. So I don't know. I don't know who's this biggest spade on this show because all of them have shown their true colors in my book that none of them are truly loyal to one another they're loyal to their families and they're loyal to their purse strings uh and that's pretty much it if they have to come to work and tear into somebody to boost up those ratings it's almost like okay i'm gonna have to get you today it's not personal it's just business and then they let have on you <laughs> I mean, is that really is the game out there when you're um, joining these reality shows or you're gotten your head or your foot in the door when you done made it, you know, in Hollywood as a true actor, a uh, true actor or actresses or actress? Is that really how it goes down? But anyway, y'all let me know. All right. But other than that, I have gotten sleepy. It's, uh, I got to get up tomorrow, start that nine to five grind. But I work half a day. On Fridays, which is a true blessing. Uh, and that's all I got to say, guys. But get down in the comments. Let me know how you feel. And thank you, thank you again for all the support you have shown to me over here at Depth Chanel's 48's World. And I always stop by when you hit, if you already subscribed to me and you've hit that notification bell, come on by. So you'll know when I drop that video because you got that, uh, have that situation set up to you know when I drop my videos every day and they be new and fresh and improve to come on over here join me with your plate or you need me to make you a plate and, and, and get you some beverages going on so we can sit and have a conversation because it's nice to talk and it's it's nice to interact with people that you don't necessarily know people that are on your wavelength versus the ones that are not on your wavelength but they have good perspectives on the subject matter that's being brought out on my channel so yes continue to do that go over to my community page 
take those polls so I can give you the results of how you all fared on certain things that I put out there that I either did a video on and I'm just doing follow up to see in depth what you really felt about the situation or it may just be a trending topic out there that I didn't necessarily cover but I was like interested to check the viewpoints of others so make sure you're participating in that because I do like I said I love interacting with you all um, prior to my next video and um, y'all have a wonderful night as well as a wonderful Friday that's coming up on us and a good and, and relaxed weekend guys but other than that peace and blessings bye bye see you next video